fundamental research or basic or pure research. So the main purpose of basic research is what? To add to the existing stock of knowledge. One thing that you must note about basic research is that um, it leads to the discovery of new theories and it is driven by intellectual curiosity and inquisitiveness. Okay, so you want to know what new theories could be found, what new principles could be found. That is pure research. And what it does is it contributes to the existing body of academic knowledge in the research areas. Okay, so it is completely theoretical and it focuses on basic theories and fundamental principles. And mostly, the end results have no direct or immediate commercial benefits or any practical application. So, an example of pure research can be Einstein's theory of uh, relativity or Newton's law of motion or even Pythagoras' theorem. So, those are some examples of pure research. Applied research. So applied research is quite the opposite of uh, basic research. It is done to solve specific practical questions facing the societies. The main idea of applied research is practicality and to find solutions to problems. Okay. It is used for policy formulation, administration, etc. See, it's becoming very practical. Always done on the basis of basic research. So basic research forms the foundation of applied research. And it can be carried out by academic or industrial institutions. Findings are intended to have immediate and practical value and can be applied to real life situations. So our understanding of fundamental research and applied research will be more refined by studying the differences between them. Okay, So we have um, fundamental research addition to knowledge and applied research solution to existing problems. Discovery or invention, innovation or application. Fundamental research is mostly academic while applied is practical use in solving a problem. Fundamental research is extensive in nature and applied research is intensive in nature. Action research. This is the most asked question when it comes to uh, the types of research. So uh, just pay attention. Action research is a part of applied research. Okay, and it is coined by this guy called Kurt Lewin, and he is considered to be the founder of this field. This type of research is to find out immediate practical solutions for a problem of local concern and local applicability. So note the word local. This is very important. It could mean a classroom. It could mean an office. It could mean a school, okay? And it is not to be generalized, meaning it is very specific. What is true for one group may not be true for another. Whatever is true for that small group may not be true for the whole general population. That is what it means. It is also called cycle of action or cycle of inquiry. Why? Because it follows this process that is repeated over and over again. And lastly, we have evaluation research. We have already studied about what evaluation is. So this is not tough at all. The process of evaluation research consists of what? Data analysis and reporting. A systematic process that involves collecting data about organizations, processes, projects, services, and methods like surveys and experiments can be used here and what it does is it enhances knowledge and decision making and it leads to practical applications that's it participation in which type of research has the great potential for ensuring the improvement of the professional as well as work situation fundamental applied evaluative action so our answer is for action research because the sole aim of action research is to improve yourself in the immediate situation that you're in. Okay, so it addresses the problem that you're facing right now and immediately solves it. So this way you refine your actions. 
and you refine your actions and you improve a lot faster a lot quicker thereby making you a lot more competent and efficient in your professional life so our answer is action research what is the correct sequence of actions in conducting an intervention based action research in education so this question has been asked several times in the exam and for this let me show you the next slide four moments of action research so this was given by chemist McDagard Retalic in 2004. Action research is a cyclical process. As I've already mentioned before, it is called the cycle of inquiry also, right? So it starts off with developing a plan, developing a plan of action to improve what is already happening. And after that, you act to implement that plan, right? And after that, you have to observe the effects of those actions. And then after observing the effects, you reflect, means to think deeply on those effects as a basis for further planning. So always remember P-A-O-R, plan, action, observe, reflect. So our answer will be two. This is match the following. Set 1 is research types and then uh, set 2 is characteristics. So for convenience, I'll write it down here. Uh, fundamental. A was fundamental, right? And then B was applied research. And uh, C was action research. And D was evaluative research. Okay. So we'll do it here. Finding out the extent. Okay. Fundamental. Fundamental research is what? theory building right so it's two applied research is using the basic theory for application in various situations so it will be four and uh, action research one important thing that i forgot to mention in action research in the previous question is the use of intervention that is why the improvement is very fast in action research so Three, improving an existing situation through the use of interventions. E, which is evaluative, I'm sorry, evaluative research. So it will be one, obviously. Finding out the extent of perceived impact of an intervention. So our answer will be A. A researcher attempts to evaluate the effect of method of feeding on anxiety proneness of children. Which method of research would be appropriate for this? Case study, experimental, ex post facto survey method. It will not be case study because uh, usually this method has got to do with an individual uh, or a unit. Experimental method. No, this is not experimental at all. Our answer will be ex post facto. Why? Because this is a social research, right? So. Anxiety is a human characteristic that cannot be manipulated for research purpose. Okay, so our answer will be ex post facto method. C. Which of the following research types focuses on ameliorating the prevailing situation? So ameliorating means improving, improving and prevailing means the current situation. Okay, the present situation. So what do you think the answer is? The answer is action research. Very easy. Match the following. So we have to match the various methods with their respective tools. So we'll pick out the easiest one first. Okay. D. Historical methods. So it will be one. Using primary or secondary sources so our answer will be either b or d so we'll cancel out a and c okay so experimental method when we talk about experimental method the tests are universally accepted and are standardized so a will be three so our answer will be b ex post facto method will use typical characteristic Test and descriptive survey method will use questionnaire. 
The principal of a school conducts an interview session of teachers and students with a view to explore the possibility of their enhanced participation in school programs. Which type of research does this endeavor relate to? So for this, I'll not answer. You type the correct option in the comment section. Okay, best of luck. What is the distinctive feature of case study research? Arriving at generalizations, presenting a detailed case history, developing an in-depth understanding of the case, helping to solve the problem of the case. So our answer will be three, developing an in-depth understanding of the case. A school teacher plans a research study to find out the relationship between the level of aspiration and the socioeconomic status of students' parents. Which type of research design will be appropriate for this study? Experimental research design, descriptive, non-experimental, historical. So I'd like to say something here. Do not be freaked out by the word research design. Just replace the word design by method for now. Because see, design, research design and research method, they are different but very related, okay? So let's say experimental research design and experimental research method. They may be different in some ways, but, but the basic idea is the same, okay? So experimental research method, you cannot manipulate the level of aspiration. You cannot manipulate socio-economic status of somebody's parents. You know, you cannot make them rich for a day. You cannot make them poor for a day just for a mere experiment. This does not make sense. No, this is not historical research. We are not studying the past of anybody. And this is also not descriptive research design. Our answer is non-experimental research design. And if you look closer, then this is X post facto research design or research method. Why? Because you cannot manipulate these variables. You have no choice but to observe and study the way things are. An investigator conducted a study to examine the effect of gender on attitude towards dowry system. The nature of this study was the answer is very easy. It is causal comparative or ex post facto. And we have matched the following types of research with their description. So we'll pick out the easiest one. Let's go with the basic research. Okay, so we'll have to look for theory building. Basic research is three. Concerned with theory building. Applied research is one. Exploring the possibility of use of theory in varied situations. Evaluation research. Judging the worth of a particular practice. And true experimental research is what? Cause-effect relationship. So our answer is three. I hope today's lesson was helpful to you. And if you did find it helpful, then please leave a like, comment and share. And if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much once again. See you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.